What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on chapter 3 in our series of the Enriched Air Nitrox course from SSI. Chapter 1 we talked about what is nitrox. Chapter 2 we got into a little bit of the calculations. And in chapter 3 we're going to be focusing on some of the equipment related issues that you may come across or some of the requirements that you need to go through to actually dive with with nitrox. Now before we get into today's video, I want you to understand, please do not use this video for you to go out and dive nitrox. You need to seek out your local SSI enriched air nitrox instructor to get properly trained. Simply use our videos as a way to review for your nitrox final exam. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into chapter three. Now starting out with chapter three, we're going to talk about analyzing your cylinder and the gas that's inside your cylinder as well. Now this is typically done at the gas blending stage. So whenever the fill operator fills up your cylinder with nitrox, he's going to analyze it and mark the cylinder to make sure the right blend is in that cylinder. However, it's more of a trust issue with yourself. You need to be verifying behind that fill operator. So you're going to learn to use a gas analyzer. And what the gas analyzer does, it has an O2 sensor in it that calculates how much O2 is in a blend. You're going to use this analyzer with your cylinder and you're just going to let a little bit of air out to analyze the O2 partial pressure in the cylinder. Then of course you're going to mark the cylinder as well just like the gas filler did and then you're also going to fill out a log at your local fill station. That log just simply states that you know what's in it and you also know understand what the maximum operating depth is for that gas blend. Now that we understand how to analyze a cylinder and how to mark it, let's talk a little bit about prepping the cylinder for nitrox. All nitrox cylinders do need to be O2 clean prior to putting nitrox inside them. This just simply means we go in and we clean out all the hydrocarbons to help prevent any type of fire hazard during the filling process. A lot of times people believe O2 cleaning is for the safety of them. It's more so for the safety of the fill operator. Now, once it is O2 clean, it's a very simple process to keep it O2 clean just simply keep gas in it. And more importantly, keep oxygen compatible gas in it. That You can put air back inside the cylinder on top of the nitrox, or you can drain it and put air back in it, but you simply need to use O2 clean air to remain or keep that rating as O2 clean. Now we're going to move on to your other equipment, such as your BCD and your regulators. We understand that as you inflate your BCD, you're taking the air out of the cylinder and putting it into the system. Of course, now we're going to be putting nitrox in the system. Is there anything special that we've got to do to your BC? Well, no. As long as we stay 40% and lower as far as our partial pressure of O2, your BCD and the O-rings inside it can withstand the nitrox that's in there. The same thing is going to apply to your regulator. Now, when you purchase a regulator, especially in 2023, all regulators come nitrox rated as long as you do not exceed that 40% partial pressure of O2. Even when you go to get your regulator serviced, a lot of manufacturers will sell both standard kits and nitrox kits for your regulators, but even the standard kits are rated up to that 40%. Just check with your local dealers and your local manufacturer and see what they recommend prior to getting your gear serviced. Now, when it comes time to actually service your gear, you need to let your service technician know whether or not you're going to be diving nitrox, whether it's your cylinder or your regulator. You also need to let him know whether you're going to be going above that 40%. So if you do go beyond recreational diving with nitrox and you're diving anything above 40%, then there are special O-rings and special lubricants that do need to be used in your regulators in BC. But just simply let your service technician know prior to servicing. Now, the last thing that we're going to cover in this chapter, of course, is the cylinder itself. We've talked about the O2 cleaning. We talked about analyzing. Let's talk about actually marking the cylinders. A lot of training agencies will tell you that you got to have that big green and yellow sticker across your cylinder. This is not necessarily true. We simply put a green and yellow sticker on the cylinder to identify it as a cylinder that is going to be used for nitrox. But there's no law that says that has to be marked. But what does have to be marked is the actual inspection sticker. This is what actually lets us know whether that cylinder has been O2 cleaned or not. Now, once it is analyzed and we know everything is good to go, we do want to mark the cylinder. And there's many different ways to do this. A lot of shops will use nitrox specific tape at the top around the crown. Some shops like ours will just simply use masking tape, or you can even use those little tags to mark your equipment. You can just simply tag it off 
and then we're gonna put certain information on it. What information goes? Well, the fill operator, the date, the blend, and the maximum operating depth as well is everything that you want marked on your nitrox cylinder. So there you go, guys. That's going to be it for chapter three of the SSI Enriched Air Nitrox course. Like I said, please do not use this video as a way for you to go out and dive nitrox. Simply use it as a study guide or a review video for you to pass your Enriched Air Nitrox course from SSI. Guys, if you've got any questions for chapter three, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. we got chapter four coming up next, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.